it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. All right, I've got, this is Abigail. She's one of our twin granddaughters and they're identical. So if you can't tell them apart, I could tell you it was Lydia, you wouldn't know the difference. But we are out and we're out in a food market, which is really cool. Um, uh, and this food market's got all these different kinds of foreign food. So here is Nepalese food from Nepal. Uh, I'm not even sure where Nepal is. Uh, here's some Greek food at this next tent. Well, I know where Greece is. In fact, I love Greek food. Oh, look at that. Yeah, lots of Greek food. I just ate some Sri Lankan food. And you know, it was really weird because when I got the Sri Lankan food, they wanted me to pay for it. I thought, oh, well, I mean, it's out here with all these people. What, what, what? Well, of course I paid for it. You would expect to pay for it. And, and, and that's only right. That's only just. Now, speaking of right and just, it gets me to my video thought for the day. Because this week I've been looking at a passage that Paul wrote to the Philippians in Philippians 4, 8 and 9. And he tells them the things to think about and the things to do. And he says, if you'll think about and do these things, the God of peace will be with you. And so I'm looking at him and, and we looked at what's true and what's honorable. Those were the first two. The third is the one we're looking at today, whatever is right. And that word right can also be translated just. It's got a root in Greek of DK. And it's the thing that, that means when you buy Sri Lankan food, you have to pay for it. It's only right to do it. It's only just to do it. You think about things that are right, you think about things that are just, and you're thinking about fairness. But all of these qualities and all of these, oh, Abigail's waving at you. All of these qualities and all of these ideas are ones that, well, they're traits, they're characteristics of God himself. So in a sense, Paul's saying, think about godly things and behave in godly ways. And when he says to do things that are right and just, it means when you're looking to deal with people, you don't try to deal with people to your unfair advantage. Now, I don't mean you don't negotiate the price of a car, you do. But you're not trying to do something at an unfair disadvantage to others. The goal is not to try to figure out how to get to your end result. The goal is to try and do what's right or what's just and what's fair. And we need to not only do those things, but Paul's saying we need to train our minds to think in those ways. If we think things that are true, honorable, right, then our actions follow our thoughts and we are walking with the God of peace. Now, there's one more in that list that I wanted to cover today. And that next word is the word lovely. And yes, that's where my granddaughter comes in, lovely. Things that are lovely are things that are wonderful and grand, and that's a trait of God as well. God is not simply someone who's a stern, righteous judge. He's also lovely to behold. There's beauty in considering the nature of God and acting in concert with that nature. It's like the food that I got this morning where I paid for it, Sri Lankan food. I paid for it because it was right, but it was also lovely. The food had a great flavor. It had great spice. If you've not tried Sri Lankan food before, I strongly recommend it. But anyway, that's the way that it's going for me today. That's my video thought for the day for you. Whatsoever things are true, honorable, right, lovely, and then we've got some more coming up tomorrow. But that's where we're stopping today. So with that, have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.